All right, guys, what's going on? So right now, we're looking underneath, and an air dryer goes in this. For any schooly people or people that have a bus or something like that, you have an air dryer that fits into this ring for the top. And these two brackets for the bottom, and then you have a little circular piece. I'll show you on the other side, but just to get it off, you gotta take these two bolts off. They look like this. Hold on, get you a bolt. The bolts look like these, and they fit right in there. And they're double sided. So get yourself a wrench on one side, a socket on the other. Pull off those two and loosen that one. Just loosen it up, cause look at the bracket moves up and down to get it off. See? And you can go ahead and get it off that way. So let's go ahead and show you the dryer. Let's show you what I'm talking about. The round cylinder is the top piece. It goes right here, slides in, and then slides into the top of these brackets. And the brackets are bolted on. Uh, I'm not doing new brackets because these are perfectly fine. And uh, the dryer hasn't been touched. So when you buy these buses, most of the time, if you don't hear the come out of the bottom, hear whining sound, uh, most likely it's the cartridge in your air dryer. Air dryer is what cleans up your air system. So just keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, air dryer real quick now. Alright guys, so this is your air dryer. If you look on the bottom of your rig, side of your rig, wherever the hell this thing is, you will see this. Bottom piece could be different, whatever. And then on the side you have a check valve. Uh, right here is your check valve. It kind of um, primes your air, makes sure it doesn't come out prematurely. Um, I believe to hear the, the air sound come out of the bottom, it should be every... Oh man, I want to say every minute, but I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, if you hear it whine or anything like that, we're about to get into this and show you how to replace a cartridge so you don't have to buy the whole entire unit because the whole entire unit is 180. Well, there's a cartridge inside here which I'm going to show you that's only about 30 to 50 bucks. So a big difference. So that's pretty much what it looks like. Uh, I'll shoot some pictures right now of what it looks like underneath the bus installed. All right, guys. Well, you saw the pictures, so there you go on how uh, how it was in there, and whatnot. So now I'm gonna go ahead and bust this open. Now, how I do it? I already took one bolt off because these are the two that mount to that bracket. Okay, so I took this bolt off already. There's another bolt, another bolt, and then you just go all the way around until this bottom piece comes off. And then you lift this up, the cartridge is inside, and we gotta twist it off. All right, guys, so now you know what an air dryer looks like, at least on my rig, which is a 99 uh, Amtrain FE3000. And uh, yeah, with the air ride, air brakes. Yep. All right, guys, well, let me get to it. See you guys in a minute. All right, guys, real quick, just so you can see, I'm actually using a 9 and 16 socket. I don't know if you can see that. But just trust me, it's 9 and 16. I'm using an extended bar for the uh, torque and uh, nice DeWalt, you know, the black edition. And then on the bottom, got a number 14. It's the same size. 
and I got the bottom held as you can see there and I'm doing it by hand I have it pressed up against the uh, the because it came out it's not like a semi truck so the way it was inside as you saw you have to take it out and do this by hand I do have impact and all that stuff but like I said it's a pretty shady area don't want to pull out all the good stuff so we're gonna be using this all right be with you in a bit all right guys so this is it disassembled this is the housing like you saw in the pictures this is the cartridge that's in there I'll get you the numbers later or comment below I'll put it in the comments somewhere somehow somebody's gonna remind me something it's gonna happen so anyways this is the inside of it right here and uh, obviously I'm gonna clean this up I got some uh, parts cleaner um, there was like eight bucks or whatever that I got I'll be cleaning that out there is o-rings that you need to pull off there's one here and one here one and one pull it off the kit has the other stuff put the new ones on this thing right here twists off from right there and it looks like that all right now here's the secret to getting that off what I used as I use this breaker bar and I use this belt right here so you wrap it around once any side doesn't matter it's rubber it's gonna hold against it then take the breaker bar and twist it until that rubber gets super tight against the bottom part of this then take it to the side because just pretend the filters right here take it to the side and pull until it comes off and it will come off uh, I'm a lot stronger so I was, honestly it was kind of shocking that I was able to get it off so easy but uh, like I said I'm a pretty strong dude so uh, thank God for me um, so yeah we'll go ahead and clean this up get it all nice and pretty slap on the new one I'll show you the new one but um, yeah so pretty much think about it you got I'm not gonna strip out my things for a video but there it is you're gonna wrap that around it that little uh, a belt deal something rubbery or I think even one of those uh, oil um, wrenches with the rubber on it would get this off I just don't know how you would put it on because the top is kind of bigger than the bottom cylinder but and then you just wrench on it and it goes this way so go what is that counterclockwise counterclockwise to get it off and then we're gonna go uh what is it counterclockwise well just do the righty tighty lefty lucy that's what it is so anyways it's getting dark dude i gotta replace this thing hopefully you guys appreciate this video on how to replace your air dryer cartridge on a uh, ad9 that's what model this is but honestly it's every single one this is how you do it and they're just mounted in different places so ad9 air uh dryer cartridge don't buy the whole entire unit that's just stupid it's like 170 180 bucks plus there's a core on top of that i think a 40 to 60 bucks so huh oh hundred dollars well we're we're at a hundred bucks for the car for the the whole entire deal and uh, most people just buy the whole unit and then slap it in their rig for me uh, I'd rather give that to my family than give it to some dude that's probably gonna mark up the price and you know take a week to do when I'm doing it here and probably about take me probably two hours just cuz I'm messing around uh, the kids are everywhere, so but anyways, this is the inside I don't know if you can see that but that's the inside of it. There is the cartridge. I have a black one I believe these are the older models that come with it stock This fills up with oil and water You can see you see the milk 
that's oil water mix perfectly fine don't need to worry about that that's what the unit's supposed to do and of course on your rig uh, schoolie or 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 a semi truck or whatever it is there's three valves on your air tank on the bottom so once you look underneath the bus or underneath your rig you see three valves do the first one and purge it don't go all crazy and you know uh untwist it or something like that it's not how it works just slowly move it and it'll purge the first stage there's three stages in my tank i don't know about for others but there's different stages that holds your bus in place while you take apart your air system and don't freak out i already have it done and the bus is right here part of my trash uh i like to recycle and throw trash away when we get to a location that we can obviously i'm off the side of the freeway this is a junction but anyways bus is staying there that's the point so all right guys well i'm gonna go ahead and show you the new stuff here and um yeah so make sure you place these rings it comes in the kit for the cartridge 30 to 50 bucks instead of 180 plus 100 and uh and then change out uh, this gasket right here and this gasket right here of course clean it up all right guys i'll catch you in a little bit i okay here i screwed up uh the check valve is not the one that i just showed you what you need to do is look for the biggest one so you see how big that is compared to how small that is that is your check valve right there it has a little ball in it that regulates from the uh cylinder i forget what it's called but it's a it's a regulator and this helps the regulator before it goes to the tanks or whatever but undo this if you want to and check to make sure there's no gunk in the inside so that's important right here it'll either be an l shape or whatever but there's a little ball inside that's not going to have it that's just a fitting and that's just a fitting that one this one and this one you're going to take off from the bottom and unscrew everything to get the hoses off that relay back to everything compressor to tank to regulator whatever and then this uh electronic piece this it pops right off whatever i've already cleaned this when I was over at another space, so we're, I'm gonna get to that next. I'll show you. All right, guys. So here we go. Um, when you get this new one, mine's black because it's the modern one. Here it is. This is what it's fucking heavy. Anyways, this is what it looks like. Same as that one. This one's filled with oil and uh, water and all that good stuff. This one's brand spanking new and dry and uh yeah so and there's a screw it's go uh, 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 what are you doing get your ass back up now Mom. alrighty guys so here we go um when you get the new air dryer cartridge this is old one of course as you saw here is the new one all right it's got the top just like that one and the bottom to screw it in to this part can't mess it up so i went and did a parts cleaner as you can tell it's a hell of a lot cleaner i went ahead and instead of taking off the check valve i don't know if you're gonna see this but if you could see down there which you can't Well, anyways, there's a little ball on this stupid check valve. Just make sure it's not all gunked up and stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's the big piece like I told you. And then just clean it out. You could. Uh, I just did the parts cleaner and cleaned it all up so it looks nice. Show you here. And, yeah, so it's all nice and clean. Ready to go. As you can tell, remember how it was before? It was all pretty nasty. Now it's super clean, ready to go. And then 
Here's that little check valve. See that little ball in there? That goes to that big guy. That's a check valve right there. Make sure it's super clean. See my ball? It's real nice and flush. It's perfect. All right, so this is the new one. Here, hold on. All right, oh yeah. It's gonna be pretty heavy. All right, so what we're gonna do, I already greased up my ring, so this is what I didn't tell you. In the box, you get this bag. It has instructions, don't worry about the instructions. You don't need the instructions. All there is in there is two rings. One big one for the outside. This is the new one, that's the old one. I don't care if it looks brand new or not just change them out because they give you new ones anyways in the baggie and then the small one goes for the cartridge on the inside that's for this guy to seal up the other big one is for this big guy to seal up which I'll be cleaning so make sure you clean the edges at least and get them all nice and clean so it seals up properly for airtight because there is oil and water mix all right and there is the new cartridge I'm gonna go ahead and slap that on there. The parts cleaner that I used is and it's pretty inexpensive. It's if you can't read it's gum out. Professional strength. Uh, I think this has more in the can than everything. Cleans uh, pretty much everything. Carburetor, brakes, air intake, throttle bodies. It's good for anything. Um, and yeah, it's just a nice bottle. It's almost empty, but I got to clean this uh, drum real quick and then slap it all together. So let me show you what it looks like once the guy is on. And uh, yeah, we'll get it going. New one, old one. If you have an international, you know what color that is. But that's the new modern color. It's going to be black. Love that color, though. We will be using that in our house. Hint, hint. Colors will come about to uh, in our schoolie. Haven't done too much, guys. What you've seen last time is what I've done. Stay patient with me, please. I'm just, you know, money situation. You gotta make sure your family's good before anything else. So the build's coming along great. Um... Everything's in, even the new one. He's got everything going. It's coming together. It's looking pretty nice. And uh, our solar deal, I'll get to that in a little bit. It's quite interesting what we're able to use with the system with no solar and power up everything and be good for a while. I mean, you could probably be good for a week on what I got set up. So I will be showing you guys that. Let's get back to this. Let's go ahead and install the, uh, install the cartridge onto the deal so I can show you what it looks like. All right, guys, so got it on. Uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey, okay? And then I got this belt on there because if you guys didn't see, uh, I had to replace a lot of things on the, uh, well, just two major things to make the car run, but not a big deal, right? So anyways, got the serpentine belt. I'm going to put it around here. And then I'm going to go ahead, have it at the bottom because that's where it's uh, screwing onto. Uh, with that little tiny uh, screw, this guy right there. And I'm going to put this around. I'm going to take that bar. I'm going to stick it in there. I'm going to twist it, twist it until it's super tight. And then I'm going to go ahead and tighten it the other direction. So what you want to do... As soon as you tighten it up all the way and get it all nice and good, make sure you go this way, which would be clockwise. Tighten it up, get it nice and good. I did it by hand. I think it's good, but I'll just do it a little bit more. Catch you in a minute. Alrighty, so got it on there. Use the deal. Say so it is a little hard to squeeze it all the way on there, but eventually you get it. And uh, yeah, everything looks good nice and tight so now we're gonna go ahead install the drum back on here now make sure 
that this uh, o-ring is sealed properly because now this one is now we got to do this one and uh, make sure we put this on ratchet it on get it nice and good now excuse me <coughs> anyways guys so uh, I just got a bunch of trash that <laughs> from this build but anyways got some more right there but uh, let me go ahead and put this all together real quick and it's just like I told you before the same way you took it apart is the way you're gonna put it on and then we'll uh, go ahead and install it and I'll show you how the hoses go on and which ones to take off and everything like that so catch you in a little bit alrighty guys as you can tell I have it back up in here I have it on the strap so of course I'm gonna need to uh, go ahead and tighten that right up there to hold that in place and then you have a, a lime right here that oil not a big deal Fuck it, to me it is oh, shit it's wiping off Fuck. Looks like shit. Alright, anyways, all freaking clean this. I gotta get out. But, so you got this big line right here. Should hook right back up, which it does. Then this slips right on there. Great. And then, you have this one. That one is right down here. And that goes on to that one. Then you have the little tiny one. Now, dude, you guys could do this stuff. So, you know, a lot of people, they're like having other people do it. Man, why? At least you know when you do it, you do it the right way. And then you got this little baby right here that's out, as you can tell. And then I got that right there. Yeah, there we go. More light. So... I don't need it. And uh, and then you got this little electric deal that you should just plug into. Honestly, it's supposed to go on the up on the hose and over because it's nice that way. Then if you were to go under and try and plug it in, look at, see what happens. You get like some tension. It's not all the way on. It's not good. So go up and over, and then just plug it in. There you go. Nice and plugged in. All this was clean before, but I don't like the dirt. Screwing it on to, uh, to dirt. I don't do that. So I'm going to get some parts cleaner. Clean these uh, threads. See how dirty the threads are? I don't like that. So, and then, yeah, get it all nice and clean. Uh, cause this is for your air, air ride, so, uh, air brakes. And then you got these two bolts, plug those in, and you're good. I just replaced my dryer myself. First time doing it. Same with, uh, the serpentine belt and the other deal, but I just know what I'm doing. That's all. Just cause I've done it once doesn't mean I don't know what I'm doing. You know, common sense will go a long ways. But anyways, guys, uh, that's how you inst uh, how you uh, take apart, do the cartridge, put it back together, which was all these little bolts right here. Make sure you mark your two bolts. These guys that go in on the uh, on the drum itself, just mark them with something so you know that you don't cover up those two bolts when you put this plate back on from replacing the cartridge. And uh, reference numbers, there you go. I don't know, it took me a minute to actually find out what cartridge I had and I'm not gonna replace a whole thing because well this is good, my check valve is good and now my cartridge is good. Uh, there's not much else I'll have to run the system and uh, see how many times this thing uh, pops and go from there. Fuck, 
fucking this. Ugh. I don't know. I just like things really clean. Off to get to this. But anyways, guys, uh, not done yet. Stay, stay tuned. I'm gonna go ahead and crank the bus over after I get this installed. Show you the after of the install, so you know exactly. Um, you can't really mess up. This hose is long enough to go to this bit, and this hose is long enough to go to this bit, and the little thing, well obviously it's only a little one, so, and then this is the only uh, deal that you plug into, so it's pretty common, it's like some common sense galore. So, and then uh, I took this apart and cleaned it on the inside, uh, it's good. Uh, a lot of people say, hey man, replace this, replace this, replace this. No. All you gotta do is clean it out. Parts cleaner will do the trick. Um, honestly, if it's, if, if it purges out, you're good. And, uh, yeah, the, uh, oh, and on these buses, on the front, you won't be able to see it, but there's a compressor. That compressor is hooked up to your engine. So, when this isn't working, when it's not purging... And it's clogged up. It messes with the engine. You'll hear the engine do some stuff because it it's a direct drive line to the compressor. So when the engine's on, the compressor is on. And uh, yeah, there's like a regulator set. You can look all this up. But anyways, nothing's messed up over there. If there is, I'll replace anything on this bus. I'm not scared of anything on this bus. Like honestly. I don't know if you can see that pumpkin, but it's like a 55-gallon trash barrel. It's freaking insane, but that's, you know, for a later video. And then hub oil. You got to hub oil your stuff. You got to put grease in all your joints. I'll do all that stuff, guys. Just got to stick with me. I know the videos have been slow on the build, but now look at what you guys get to see. And now you guys know how to replace stuff. It, it's going to be a good channel, guys. So stay tuned. Tell people to subscribe, like it, uh, share it if you want to. Uh, honestly, I would share this throughout all the groups because of the fact I haven't seen a video yet of this. I'll probably do it myself, but if I don't, go ahead and slap them on the schoolie groups and anybody else that doesn't know how to replace these things so they don't get screwed in a repair shop. So, sorry I'm upside down looking at this thing, but it's it's pretty interesting how to do it. Uh, like I said, it's my first time, um, but it's all common sense when you start looking at things and they're, you know, rubber ball that's going to be a check valve, you know. It's all pretty much common sense, so. But anyways, I was looking at everything else. There's the three purges. And you see that? That's the one I purged. These haven't been purged in forever, honestly. I, I got to do every single one. And then uh, there's one over here. If you guys can tell me what that is, I think that's the emergency brakes. You know that yellow thing you pull up on to do the brakes? Oh, shit. Oh. My wife just uh, surprised me with the Venom. Hey, if you guys have, haven't had Venom, they're 99 cents. Check them out. They're an energy drink. I love these things. Thanks, babe. Oh, she's the best. But anyways, guys, so I purged the first one. It's a stage three. So you have one, two, and three. Purge the first one. Because look, where does that line go? Yeah. It goes right to the dang cartridge. So purge that first one so you get the air out before you take this sucker out. Line goes directly to in the tank. So common sense would be to purge the first stage. It's that simple, guys, honestly. Um, I work on stuff all the time, so I'm kind of used to all this stuff. I definitely want to replace this drive line. Um... But I'll have to do it later. It's it's okay. It works. It's not uh it's not um what you call it? It's it's not 
the bearings are good. Everything's good on this, but you know, it's just it, it, after so long, you just kind of want to replace things. But you know, like this right here. Look at this thing. How long do you think that's been on there for? Oh, I'm not even showing you. Right here, it's been on forever. Definitely gonna have to replace this whole steering mechanism. Uh, not knowing what it's called, but I know how to replace this shit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, 14,000 pound shocks instead of I think these are nine or 6,000 pound because California roads are insane. So the shock's definitely gonna get replaced with 14,000 pounds instead of the six or 9,000 pound. This bus weighs 36,000 pounds, but once everything was ripped out, it's it's gone way down. But anyways, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So guys, you guys just tore apart replace the cartridge and put it back in boom I'll check you once I put it all together alrighty guys so I have it completely installed now as you can tell there's a dryer there's a the hookups I cleaned them very nice on the inner side not the outside it doesn't matter so the inner threads, as you can see, nice and shiny. And nice and shiny, but you can't see. Oh, well. But anyways, well, guys, I went ahead and connected the thing back. Like I said, on the overage, go over this long. Well, I'm with the threaded. And uh, they're all nice and tight. Small ones, same thing. Cleaned it and then put it back on. Because you don't want to have dirt in your th threads. You could accidentally loosen it up when you're driving. So, and uh, so small one right here. Um, bigger one going to the uh, compressor. There's another hose somewhere around here. Okay, this one is it relays back into the system but anyway small one big one plug it in over the big one because you know i have all that tension on this wire and then this one right here which goes down into your ticks which is what we just talked about and uh let's see here let's move, move this stuff all right let's see what we got Let's drain that out. That right there is oil. So we need to drain that out. Make sure it purges out. Before we start up the uh, the rig and see how everything is. Everything looks pretty good. I like it to be a lot cleaner down here. But it is what it is. And then eventually I'll start putting adapters on stuff. And creating uh, uh, compressor uh, hoses. Where I could do a quick connect from the uh that's my 50 amp okay, right here sorry about that that's my 50 amp right underneath i'm gonna have a hose coming out to where i could just go onto the outside bus get my hose slap it back in uh a quick connect in use an air tool or some way the bus is in motion air up the tires whatever i want to do i'll do another video on that somebody might watch this and do the video before me sorry got um big ass uh things that bite what are they called mosquitoes big suckers but anyways that looks about right it's still dripping i'll let it drip for a little bit and uh just you know kind of air out so same thing with this you hear that that's your second stage and then of course you'll have your three stage you see how this is turning this is just your uh, your first stage, second stage, and third stage. Of course, if you do it a little bit, it will uh, splurge out the oil, and then so will the other one. Anyways, you guys get the drift. You know exactly what I'm talking about. That's how it is. And uh, yeah. And like, I'm not no expert or none, but I do have common sense. You guys could 
you know, either believe me or not, but this is how you do it, you know, unless you want to go ahead and be a pansy, buy the whole entire unit for 180 bucks plus a $100 core, go for it, but honestly, you don't need to, as long as you check this guy, your uh, uh, check valve, check valve is right in here, that little ball, that should be clear, if it's clear of any debris, you're good to go. And of course, the main guy, the cartridge inside this crazy device. But yeah, other than that, everything checks out. Of course, probably take a meter to this. Make sure your voltage is good on here. Um, yeah, I did that. I didn't show you nothing, but if you, here, pop this off, you could go ahead plug in your meter that make sure you're getting actual reading you know blah 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 but other than that guys we just uh replaced the cartridge check the check valve and i already did this guy everything is good to go it's time to start this bus up let's do it